Good day everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We got a HP here to fix. HP 250 G5. It has no power. So let's see together what is the problem. Then we can fix together. Charger connected. Charger connected. You can see it's taking power. So what is going on here? Okay, it's taking current. It's taking current, but there's no display. Because the customer that brought it in said it has no power. When it says it has no power, I don't know what does it mean. There's no display. I can see the laptop is taking power, but there is no display. Okay, let's try to switch it on. Okay, I switch it on now. I switch it on now. Okay, I see the the caps lock is flashing. Okay, the caps lock, if you can see here, is flashing. Let's watch. You see that? You see that? It's flashing. See here? It's flashing. So I think the problem of this laptop, it has no display. Because if the customer says it has no power, that's wrong. It has no display. So let's see what could be this problem. Okay? Let's see together. Let's disconnect the battery. The battery disconnected. Let's open up the laptop together. Okay, there are screws here you need to take out. Thank you to everyone that have subscribed to my channel. If you are watching this video now, you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more repair video. Thank you. Uh, what could be this problem that this laptop is not displaying? There's no display, but it has power, but there's no display. Okay, we're going to check together now. What could be the problem? Okay. There are screws you need to take out. You know, cases like this, it might be the BIOS or the memory but we don't know let's check together okay the screws are out okay the i5 and eh? gen i5 6 generation okay okay the cd rom out okay there we go here we are on the board okay here's the board I'm just gonna disconnect the hard drive eh? since I'll be working on it. Okay, here we are on the board. Okay, here we are on the board. Mm, okay, DDR4 is using DDR4. Probably, maybe one of these RAM is bad. Eh? Okay, let's check together. One RAM out. Okay, the RAM is out. I took out the one RAM. Did you see that? Eh? The one RAM is out. So let's test again. Okay. Powered on. Okay. It's on now. Let's wait for display. You see that? We've got a display. 
Should I say one of these memory is bad or maybe the memory is not seated or fitted properly? Okay, let's switch it off again. Powered off. Okay, I'm just gonna clean the the memory stick. Then I'll put it back again. Okay. Clean. Okay, let's test it get together. Powered on. Powered on. There is no display. That means that memory stick is bad. So what we gonna do now? What are we going to do now? So what are we going to do? I'm taking out the the 40 memory stick, and I will speak to the client to get another memory stick. If you choose or wish to replace the the memory stick, you see. Okay, let's see. I think I've got one here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I think I've got one here. Just a moment. I think I've got one here. So what I'm gonna do, I will need to to test with my own RAM to see. So if it was, if it comes right, then it's fine. I put in my RAM. Here's this RAM. Is the zero four? Is using the zero four? Okay. There you go. We've got pictures. So. I think what I would do, the problem of this laptop is not a power problem. The client said it's a power problem. It's not a power problem. The problem of this laptop is a display problem. There's power and there's no display. The cause of that was the 40 RAM. See, the memory stick was 40. You see, we have to replace the memory stick. Then we've got picture. Okay, let me connect the hard drive. Remember, I took out the hard drive. Okay, let's sit together. Okay, connected the hard drive. Let's see together. Powered on. There you go. Okay, you see it's loading Windows. I think I will stop this video now. I've got other more work to do i think i will stop this video now but like and subscribe if you like this video i will see you on the next video i don't think there's a need to put it together while the video is still on okay like i said the problem of this laptop was not a power issue remember the uh, caps locks the light was flashing because of the 40 ram it wasn't recognizing the ram one of the memory stick was, was bad you see so hence i've replaced the one the bad memory stick it's working but if you choose not to replace it you want to stick to the one stick because it was having two memory stick in there four gig four gig that's eight gig so when we took out one four gig it was working but i prefer or I presume that the client wants 8 gig. That's why I decided to replace it with another 4 gig to make it 8 gig. Okay? That's it. Okay? I will stop this video now. Like and subscribe if you like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.